So far we learned on how to create a purchase order. Now we are going to learn on how to create a, a goods receipt. So to do the goods receipt, you need to go logistics, material management, inventory management, and then the goods receipt. So this is called MIGO. So, and um, we know the PO number, so we can use MIGO underscore ZR. If we don't know the PO number, yes, also you can use this known PO number. And, and uh, this is a, I go to the PO number. So here, so I type my company code which is 2800 so we have uh, two purchase orders one is created here we created uh, this purchase order with uh, this purchase order which is uh, showing here is 12 sorry the 12 here is sorry and uh, the toll which is created using after you create the asset you created this so but in this case of this you directly created the asset from the purchase order so now we are going to use 7725 for posting the goods receipt so here can see once you enter the goods receipt here then it's system showing here so the posting date document date and quantity so where it should go the goods recipient you can enter if there is someone and the purchase order set automatically and uh, here the partner is our vendor account assignment so you can see here so this is a asset number so you, you, you can enter any notes or anything, the delivery note. Yeah. It's just set uh, goods, goods, receipt, and then uh, bill of lading or GR slip if you have any. The GR slip I enter as a asset to zero. Click enter. So now you click on check whether it's everything okay to proceed or not so click okay so what happened you are not flagged item check so you have to check this box and this is a tiny box you must be familiar here so if you see this tiny box you must check this box in the case of goods receipt yeah so after you do that click on check again and uh, what the system shows only possible in february and march so where is this is uh, relating to the mmp so here i entered the wrong 01 01 20 20 again check again so stay mirror so i change my date here 02 to click ok so now check again yes so everything is okay now then click on post so you can see there is some tab will be appearing when you click on display the goods received yeah so i'm going to display now and uh, this is the gr document is posted so click ok so you can see there's another tab appear when it comes to the display here so the display tab is a document information for a this is this is the tab for the document information which is relating to the financial accounting so you can go to the financial documents to see what is the posting is done in the financial so the system is created one is for the accounting document another one is for the fixed asset so if you see here so this is a accounting document and uh, if you see the other one is actually the asset transaction so the system is created two documents so to see these two documents you just need to double click on the first one so which will show what is debit and what is credit 
So it's a debited asset and credited materials purchased. And if you go to the another document, it's asset. So here, this is an asset document. So asset document will bring you to the same here, so you can see. So it's the same transaction which is showing. So now this will be cleared out when you are posting a credit to your vendor and then debit to your materials purchased. So this is how the system is going to show you. So now you see the asset. So to check the asset, you can double click on the first one and go to the asset. So you can see the asset under the display and you can see the asset values here. So how the system is going to calculate the depreciation from 2020. So we started um, the asset is posting is on 2020 February. So it is uh, depreciation is how it is calculated. So yeah, so this is how you can create uh, goods received for the fixed asset Thank you. So here, actually, you will uh, you will see the documents posted, um, whether it is as a transaction or whether it is a invoice or related or material related. You can identify using a transaction here. So when there is a WRX, is for materials, and when there is ANL, is for fixed asset. So this is how the system is recording the transaction automatically. You are not entering these and this is back and the system is uh, getting the account determination. So the account determination is purely um, done here using uh, these transactions here. So hope understand um, the goods received how it will be done so if you see since we entered the delivery note information so it comes under the reference so if you see here so whatever you entered uh, in the uh, delivery note the reference it's showing here so let's see what else it is showing under the header information here so and in, in the header information so under the header information, you can see here. So this is where the goods receipt. You can see the goods receipt. Document type, which is relating to the goods receipt. And this is a reference where we are seeing. And the reference transaction here is, this is the one. So, yeah, so what is the transaction is used? So all this information will be automatically stored by the system in the document levels here so hope uh, this helps so now in the next session let's see how we can create the invoice receipt so we, we done the goods received then how to do the invoice receipt for the same fixed asset i'm going to show you thank you guys